Hello everybody, I am Jay, Leonard Jay, and today we're gonna to be dialing in some tones with the brand new Line 6 Catalyst 60. Line 6 has just released a brand new series of amplifiers called the Catalyst Series. I have the smallest one on my lap today. This is the Catalyst 60, 112, 60 watt combo, super lightweight. And what I think is going on, what this whole Catalyst Series is all about, is it's about getting the Helix technology, the stuff they've been working on in that avenue with the touch sensitivity, the incredible detail, the portability and practicality of this whole digital renaissance going on with guitars, but putting it in a much more traditional form factor, putting it in like a nice little combo, as well as getting rid of all the extraneous stuff. So there's no menu diving, uh, no like deep programming and, and nitpicky kind of stuff. It's just really great, no compromise tones in a plug and play kind of form factor. And uh, that's not to be said, there's not a lot of features. In fact, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, you have an attenuator here. You could even mute it if you wanna go direct or use the headphone jack. You could even use USB for USB recording and all that kind of stuff. Straightforward EQ panel, programmable reverb and boost. You even get an effects knob, which I'll dig into in just a little bit, a tuner. And lastly, two different presets, which you can easily switch between. There are six different amp models to choose between and it's a really nice selection of amplifiers. So lots of variety of sounds. So what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna grab myself my trusty Fender Telecaster with my J-Mod signature pickups by Tone Specific and String Joy Strings. And I'm gonna plug this thing in, show you how to dial in some sound, show you those six settings, play with some of the effects and really explore what this Catalyst amplifier is all about. <laughs> We are all wired up and ready to go. You can tell there's two presets here, but I'm on manual mode. So uh, instead of using presets, what you see is what you're gonna get. You know exactly what I'm doing to this amp. And we're gonna start off with my favorite of all the amp models. It's the dynamic mode. Uh, it's a mid gain thing, really touch sensitive and has a wonderful attack to it. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Again, I can go really light with it and it's relatively clean. And then when I dig in, it gets a little bit more nasty. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, there are effects on this amp and there's a single knob right here called the effects knob. Now, there are 18 different effects that you can control with that knob. And the way we go to all the different effects is actually by holding on, this turns it on and off. If I hold on to it, we can now choose the kind of effect that we want. So you can tell when I press this middle button, the color changes. Uh, each different color represents a different kind of effect. We're gonna go to the purple mode, uh, which is the pitch effects, and we can switch between all the different pitch effects with this selector. So let's go to this one, which is an octave down effect, and now we have a cool octave down effect that I can blend into my sound. <laughs> Up next is the clean setting, just two clicks over. And again, we have a very nice, beautiful, clean sound.
Now, right now I have a chamber reverb on it, but I can change my reverb type. I just hold this until it starts to pulse. And then I could actually change my delay types over here. Uh, right now I'm gonna go into a shimmer. They have a shimmer setting. And let's hear what that sounds like. Let's add a little delay to that. I did have this set up to delay. We could tap tempo it. Up next is the boutique mode. It's going for those handmade amp sounds, those small batch wonders uh, that have a wonderful amount of touch sensitivity to them. If I go lower on the gain, let's go right around here. It sounds nice and clear with a little bit of hair under the fingertips. <laughs> And as I go higher, it gets a little bit more nasty. Now let's add a little reverb and tremolo to that mix. We got spring reverb and a good old fashioned tremolo for something surfy. <laughs> If you wanna use this thing silently at home with headphones or you wanna send the sound directly to the board without having to worry about miking it up, there is a speaker simulated DI out in the back of this amplifier, which is quite handy. So all the sounds you've been hearing has been with this ribbon mic, this Cascade Fathead. Let's go mix the two up. So I'll play this one a little bit with the DI and you can actually hear what's going on. The DI has a nice bold in your face sound. Uh, I'm on the chime setting and we'll play with cleanish tones to overdrive-ish tones. Let's see what we got. Now we come to the crunch setting. It sounds really good when I got my single call pickups going on, a really cool rhythm sound. But say I wanna take that sound to the next level. I'm doing like a big riff or a solo line. I have a boost function right over here that I can engage. There's a knob to tell me how much boost I wanna put in there. So when I do want that kick, I wanna go to 11, boost on. But let's hear what it sounds like before the boost. 
Finally, we find our feet firmly planted in the high gain section. And I got all the good stuff in there too. The plate reverb and the analog delay. You know the high gain setting? It's like, it's the thing where you put the headphones on, you start playing in the high gain channel, and then it's like two hours later, and you haven't stopped playing because it's just the distortion, the sustain, the harmonics. It's just too much fun. High gain section, here we go. And that is the Catalyst 60 by Line 6. That is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Catalyst, please check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, sponsored by the Patreon supporters, and all my demos, tutorials, and everything else right here on YouTube. Now, my question for the subscribers out there, especially for those of you that are shopping for an app right now, where are you leaning towards? Do you think of going for the, the amp digital modeling kind of thing, the Katana, the Catalyst, that kind of whole world? Or are you still drawn to the old school tube amp, nice warm sounds, old school kind of thing? Do you like the modern flexibility or do you like the straightforwardness of the old school stuff? Please write it in the comments section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.